Hello everyone, Tina Gale here for Paper Issues. This is our spring crop and my challenge is a March into spring challenge with flowers. So I'll tell you more about that in a minute. This is the products that I'm going to be using. I'm using the gorgeous Simple Stories Carpe Diem line. So these are just a few of the papers that I've picked out to work with. These awesome Amy Tan gold thickers. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm mixing in some other Simple Stories. So this is the new Life in Color collection from Simple Stories. So I have some of the word stickers and then the big fundamental sticker sheet that I'm going to use. And the first thing I'm going to do is just cut the two background papers for the, from the Carpe Diem line. I'm going to cut them in half. So I just have my cutting mat and my really long ruler. And instead of wasting the other half of this paper, I'm going to cut both sheets in half and then mount them on top of a piece of thinner white cardstock that I have just in my stash. Um, this is a great way to save some paper if, if there's more layouts that you want to create with this paper. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of it. I think I'm going to have to go back and get more in the store because um, I do have a lot from this collection for my planner. I'm using the Carpe Diem planner this year. Um, so I was just thinking I really, you know, didn't want a scrapbook with it, but it is so gorgeous uh, I'm gonna definitely have to go back and get more. So I'll talk more about that in a minute So I'm gonna take the other half of this paper here that I cut away that had this big great floral Embellishment printed on it, and I'm just gonna fussy cut around it. and I'm gonna use that as my embellishments So my challenge for you is to use flowers on your layout. This is the March into spring challenge so it could be um, like um, just dimensional flowers. It could be flower stickers. It could be a fussy cut flower from paper like I'm using on this. Um, any kind of flowers that you have, get them on your layouts and enter into the challenge. There's going to be a $10 gift card for each one of the challenges. And this weekend we're going to have five challenges each day. So that's a total of 15 challenges, 15 $10 gift certificates, and also two random grand prize uh, gift certificates that are going to be in the amount of $50. So you want to be sure to hop on over to the Paper Issue um, Friends and Fans Facebook page and join along with us. It's going to be a really lot of fun this weekend. Okay, so I've mounted the two pieces that I cut onto this white uh, cardstock, like I said, and then I have this gold foil tape that's just gorgeous, and I thought it went really well with the letters or those thickers, the gold thickers from Amy Tan that I'm going to be using. So I'm just splitting that layout with that, and I really thought I would probably just use the one strip, but after I got it on there, I just loved it so much, I needed just a little bit more. So I went ahead and ran two strips, and I'm just folding it back to the back side and then trimming it down. And then I'm going to start building up on my layout. So I have this one single photo. It's of my daughter um, sleeping in her crib one day at work. Um, I was fortunate to own a store where I had a playroom for her, and so she went to work with me each day. And... Um, it's just a really cute photo. She's folded completely in half at the hips. And when we had the sonogram done to find out what she was, she was folded in half like this too, and she was sucking on her toes. And so this photo always just cracks me up because it's exactly how she was when I carried her for nine months. I think she stayed folded in half. Um, so I had a you know huge belly sticking out front because of it, but it couldn't curl up any other way. So anyways, it's, it's just a really fun photo. There's not really any story other than that story that I just told about how she laid, how we saw her on the sonogram, and then after she was born, it was still the way that she would lay and sleep. So um, just going to get that documented for the album. So here I'm trying to decide on the title, and I had thought about mixing um, different alphabet stickers and stuff, but I decided to just stick with these gold thickers and I decided to put Always Cute on there and then this fun little scroll underneath it. So now I'm looking through the stickers from the Life and Color collection and that's the great thing about if you have more of the manufacturer's uh, products in a different collection. They use the same dyes and inks and stuff on their papers, so most of the time 
everything matches you know across collections really well and while some of the life and color is a lot brighter than what this is with carpe diem there's a lot of that softer pinks and the kind of the corally red and um, the yellow and the blues and all of that so i'm just picking a few little flower stickers that i know i can um, put around in my clusters of embellishments i had some word phrases that i want to put in and so just kind of started there now i'm going to start trying to decide how i want that cluster of flowers i wanted um, a big bulk of it right around the photo and then just a few flowers spreading out from it just kind of trailing off and then i want to put another little cluster embellishment to the bottom left so when i was looking at it i saw this one flower that was being completely hidden up underneath the photo and I thought it would be really pretty to have it because it has the stem and the leaves. I could kind of cut it away and put it towards the bottom and that will help trail that, those flowers down my page. So that worked out really well. Um, so I'm just trimming that away. And then I had the small flower sticker, so I'll end up putting that towards the top to help um, build the flowers up towards the top of the layout. Looking through the stickers, trying to find something to build up the lower cluster, I found this camera, but it was just in black and white, and I wanted more color. I needed to repeat all of my colors from the flower and everything, all of my design, down here to this bottom cluster. So I decided to pull out some of my markers and um, just go ahead and color that camera in. So I um, apologize, it kind of got out of frame there for a little bit. But I'm just going to stick it on this sticker sheet so that I can color around. I ended up doing the body of it pink and then added some of the turquoise color and even some of the yellow so that I could repeat, repeat um, my entire color scheme there on that camera. And that's going to kind of become the grounding for my embellishment cluster at the bottom there. So these markers are the Shin Han Art markers and it's I just use turquoise tender pink and a gold yellow to color that up and then I had this gold puffy heart from this sticker sheet that I really wanted to use down there too to repeat the gold from the title so I'm just kind of playing around with the different pieces that I had to build up a cluster and I ended up building it right here on this sticker sheet and then we'll move it over so, so I had the one uh, black word that I pulled off from the life and color sheet and it just says dream and then some of the smaller flower stickers then i decided i wanted a little bit more color on this background so i pulled out my heidi swap color shine and i used gold and um, one of the pinks that i have and just sprinkled along that diagonal um, and i also put a little bit down where the cluster is going to be and i'm really horrible at splattering i think i get it everywhere I'm not even sure why I use this box anymore because it ends up all over my table anyway, so I um, need to figure that one out. Okay, so the pink Heidi Swap that I had was a little bit more coral and to the lighter pink, and I wanted some little pops of the brighter pink that's in that central flower and kind of more of the color that I used to color in that camera sticker. So I pulled out my watercolors and just watered it down and took a paintbrush and did some splatters with the darker pink. Once that was set aside and I let it dry, then I'm going to go ahead and start uh, adhering all of my flowers and my photo. I really like using foam tape and stuff when I'm adhering different parts of my layouts, and I've been on a kick here lately of putting the foam underneath my photos, and so that they don't sag or anything, I've started using the fun foam that you can get in the craft section. So that way I have a solid um, pop-up behind the photos. So I went ahead and just cut a piece almost the size of the photo, adhered it to the back of it. And then on my flowers that I fussy cut, I ended up cutting into the flowers so that I could cut them apart and tuck that photo up in between those flowers. So that helped give that illusion that I had a lot of different layers around that, even though it's just one solid printed piece of pattern paper. And then I'm going to go and add just a little bit of foam dots underneath some of the flowers um, towards the middle there. And so the ones right next to the, the photo are flat against the page. And then the ones that come out towards the end are popped up a little bit more. 
Then I have um, this flower sticker that I said I found to, to carry that trail up along the top. So I'm going to put a pop dot behind it. And then I have the little phrase that says, you are my happy that I popped up there. And that's pretty much all I'm, all I'm going to do up at the top other than my enamel dots that I will do at the end. Since I had pretty much built up this entire cluster down here on my sticker sheet, it was real easy just to move it over to my layout. So I just have the camera against the background and then the gold puppy heart on top. And I have the black label that says dream and I just put a little pop dot behind the end of it to match the thickness of the gold heart. And then I had some of the little small pink flower stickers from the life in color that I added around. And so that's gonna finish that little cluster down there. And now I'm just taking a last little look around to see if I can find anything else. I needed to bring that yellow down below. And so I found a couple of more little flower stickers. So I added a yellow and a pink to bring that color the rest of the way down. And then I'm gonna adhere my title here and then start looking for um, enamel dots and also to do my journaling. Now that I'm almost completely done, I'm just looking for those final touches, trying to make sure that I have repeated everything. And so up at the top, I'm noticing I would like just a little bit more gold. So I found one of the little like plus X signs or whatever in the gold puppy and decided to add it up on that fray sticker. Then I'm looking at my enamel dots and I decided I wanted to use some of these hearts. I have some pink ones that are in the brighter pink. So I just add one heart kind of to each little cluster. Um, to give that extra little pop. I love the one up by the title. I just thought that was too cute. And then I wanted yet a little bit more gold. I mean, you can never have too much gold. And so I have these gold glitter thickers that are from Basic Gray. So I'm gonna add those around on top of the flowers and the centers and stuff. And then, you know, along that diagonal design. And um, that's, a, that's about it. And then I'm still thinking, you know, it needs something. Um, I love the darker on the bottom with the paper, but that top right just kind of like floating off into space. And I was trying to decide where I wanted to do my journaling because I was naturally thinking that it would kind of go underneath the title and just kind of fill in. And it's like, that's just going to make everything else down there really heavy. And in the end, I decided to do it around the outside of the page on the light paper. And that gave just that extra little umph that the layout needed in the black to kind of frame that top edge of that paper and then also get my story put on there. So I'm really happy with the way this layout turned out. Um, and you saw me, I had one more little word sticker that I kind of added in there. It says captured. And actually when you see the still shots on the end, I actually move that down underneath the title and then add another one that's on a white sticker behind the cute that says 24 seven. Um, I think that's really the only thing that I moved from right here and that finished up my layout. If you need any product, whether it be the Carpe Diem or anything else to play with, be sure to shop at Paper Issues. Be sure to, to stop this weekend for the crop. Um, when you make your purchase, you can use my discount code of Tina Gale to save 20% off your entire order. So great savings there as well. Here are some close-ups of the still shots of the layout. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe. If you enjoyed this, I would love a thumbs up. And be sure to come back to see more layouts and that I create. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye.